We have to get USMCA signed. Nancy Pelosi can't get it off her desk. Just can't do it. The Democrats want to have it. The unions want it. The farmers want it. The manufacturers want it. I think the woman is grossly incompetent. Uh, and we're having a problem because Mexico and Canada are calling, saying, what's going on? And it's sitting on her desk. She doesn't need Democrats because the Democrats are going to vote for it. All she has to do is put it up for a vote. She's said for months now, oh, well, no, she likes it, she wants it, she likes it, she wants it. The woman is grossly incompetent. All she wants to do is focus on impeachment, which is just a little pipe dream she's got. And she can keep playing that game. And I've been told, and who knows if this is so, but I think it's so, I have pretty good authority on it, that she's using USMCA because she doesn't have the impeach impeachment votes. So she's using USMCA to get the impeachment vote. And it doesn't matter, because right now you have a kangaroo court headed by little shifty Schiff, where we don't have lawyers, we don't have witnesses, we don't have anything. And yet I just got to watch, and the Republicans are absolutely killing it. They are doing so well, because it's a, it's a scam. It's a big scam. They're doing something that the founders never thought possible and the founders didn't want. And they're using this impeachment hoax for their own political gain to try and damage the Republican Party and damage the president. But it's had the opposite effect because you've seen the polls and we're now the highest. I'm the highest I've ever been in the polls. You don't hear that on television because the news and the Democrats are one and the same. Lieutenant Colonel, Thank you, Mr. President. I don't know him. Uh, I don't know, uh, as he says, Lieutenant Colonel, I understand somebody had the misfortune of calling him Mr. and he corrected them. Uh, I never saw the man. I understand now he wears his uniform when he goes in. No, I don't know Vindman at all. What I do know is that even he said that the transcript was correct. And if anybody reads the transcripts, I had two calls with the President of Ukraine, who, by the way, said there was no pressure whatsoever. There was no anything. They don't — they probably think they, — they can't — they probably can't even understand what's going on with this country. But Vindman, I watched him for a little while this morning, and I think he — I'm going to let people make their own determination. But I don't know Vindman. I never heard of him. I don't know any of these people other than I have seen one or two a couple of times, they're ambassadors, but these are names that are taught, like Taylor, like Kent with a nice bow tie, wonderful bow tie. Maybe I'll get one for myself someday. I don't know who Kent is. I don't know who Taylor is. All these people are talking about, they heard a conversation of a conversation of another conversation that was had by the President. What's going on is a disgrace. And it's an embarrassment to our nation. And in the meantime, we can't get USMCA approved because Nancy Pelosi is grossly incompetent. She is incompetent. And you're about to find that out. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you.